Hey, my friends. Um, have you been wondering what you want to do with your one and only wild and precious life? Well, I want to come on and just say something here because uh, one, I haven't been on my podcast or YouTube for quite some time. And two, this has been brewing up. This has been bubbling up about like, what do you want to do with your one and precious wild life in my life in particular? Uh, because I took a sabbatical for about the last year and a half on all the work that I was doing previously because it didn't feel alive in me anymore. Also, because I got really sick and was getting an invitation to take a look at my life, my emotions, uh, my heart space, my inner wisdom, um, my spirit, my soul, and to figure out what it is that I wanted to do with this one and precious life. And over the years, coaching over 1,700 women in a private Facebook group, um, I have learned that once many humans reach over the age of 50, they begin asking themselves some very serious questions. And maybe you've asked yourself this too. What am I here for? Who am I? And what's my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing with my one and wild precious life? And so I've been interviewing people. And if you stick with me, what you're going to learn is some of the ways that I figured out what I wanted to do with my wild and precious life, completely changing the path and direction that I've been going in over the last 30 to 40 years and being on fire about my passion that was um, rising up within me along the path of my hero's journey, my heroine's journey, um, my sabbatical, and the path of my spirituality awakening. So let me share with you that the feedback that I've gotten from people out there in the world, women and men, is that they wonder what their purpose is once the children have left home. And this isn't just for those people that are retired anymore, because the world is evolving and the energy is shifting and the world is waking up. And there's young people in their 20s, 30s and 40s that are looking around going, what the hell is going on? And what am I doing with my life? They're, they're quitting, you know, six and seven figure jobs. They're putting on a backpack and traveling abroad. They're um, sitting on the couch and you know, watching endless streams of Netflix and series. I mean, everybody's doing all kinds of different things, but I think what's unsettling is that we are all asking what to do with our lives. And although there's no simple, easy answer, there is one thing that will make a difference in your life. One thing that will make a difference in your life where you can start, okay? And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So whether you're retired, whether you're an empty nester, whether you're a mom, whether you ever worked before in your life, whether you're new to the working world, whether you're thinking about a career, changing careers, jumping ship altogether, taking a leap, the hell with it, and going to Costa Rica or Puerto Rico or whatever it is that you want to go. I think that's a good thing. I think change is a good thing. And I recently wrote an article on getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And ever since COVID, that started making everybody a little bit uncomfortable, trying to hold on to the reins, trying to control their life, looking to the right, looking to the left, looking to see what they can hold on to because it's been scary. It's been a scary time, but we're out of that scary time. Well, in your mind, you can be out of that scary time. So what I want to share with you is that your life is never over, never over on this planet Earth until you're like 10 feet under. And then it's not over. You're just going into a different universe. and It's going to be an amazing experience. That's, you know, my belief and my thoughts. So but while you're here, what is it that you want to do? And if you are still listening and you're wondering, what is Shelly going to tell me? Like, how can I change my life? How can I figure out which direction I need to go in and what do I need to do to, to save myself, right? To bring income in, to have more abundance and have more prosperity, have more happiness, have more fulfillment, step into a creative, fulfilling life, have wealth and, you know, prosperity, joy, friends, and laughter, 
travel abroad internationally, whatever you want to do. Here's the one secret that I've got for you. It's all up here. It's attitude. That's where it starts. Because you can be in such a deep, dark place, which is totally okay. I was there for quite a long time. And then with tools, skills, spirit, God, I got myself out of it. And you can too, if that's where you are. If I'm talking to you and you're in a deep, dark place, then that's okay. I would say, embrace it. Lean in. Listen to it and see what it's trying to tell you. Listen. And then lean in some more. And then get your pen and your paper out and start journaling. Start asking yourself questions. Like these are three great starters that will change almost every day that you ask them. Who am I? What's my life purpose? What am I doing here? I know I'm made for more. What is that? And sit with those questions. And I encourage you to write down, what brings you joy? What are the things that make you happy? And if you don't know what those are, go back to your childhood and take a look and see what made you happy in your childhood. What made me happy in my childhood is still what makes me happy now. Playing with others, encouraging other people, inspiring people, sitting with people, listening to them, playing sports, reading books, challenging myself, learning, tripping over the obstacles and getting back up. I mean, what I was doing in my childlike life, I still bring a lot of it to this life now. And maybe you could go back and start journaling and asking yourself some questions. What brought me happiness while I was growing up? When was the last time that I was happy? And what were you doing? And if you're someone who hates your job, absolutely, but you have fear holding you back, I want you to ask yourself this question. What am I afraid of? If I walk in and hand in my resignation to my boss tomorrow, what are you afraid of? Okay, well, the first thing that comes to mind is a no-brainer. Maybe you don't have enough money in the bank to do that. So what can you do now as a side gig to begin creating your future self, right? If this isn't where you want to be in the here and now, then you can start working on your future self, right? Who is it that you want to be? What is it that you want to do? And then start working on that and going after that. But you see, we can't create our future self or get out of the place that we're stuck in now of the unknowing and the not knowing of who we want to be or where we want to go when we're looking in the past and living from the past. So if you get up every day out of bed on the same side of the bed and do the same rituals day in and day out and look at your phone and do all of that that makes you feel like you've got a hook on life and that you know, you're connected, hey, that's cool. But your life isn't going to change. What you want to do tomorrow morning when you wake up on the outside, uh, when you wake up, like I did this week, is I got out of bed on the other side of the bed. I haven't done that in months. And I thought, I'm just going to get up and get up on the other side of the bed. And then you know what happened after that? I didn't do what I typically do. I changed my routine. And so instead of you know going to the bathroom and getting coffee, I went outside and took a big deep breath of fresh air. I gave the kitty cats a hug. I fed them. And so I just shook up my routine. And I challenge you to do that. That's a great way to start. Living in the present moment and out of the past. Let it go because it's not here. The future is in the moment right now. It is because you're creating it. You're creating your future in the here and now. So I want you to take a big deep breath in right now with me. And exhale. And then we're going to do that twice. And I want you to exhale verbally and vocally the best you can. And there's a secret behind this. Let's do it together. A big deep breath in. 
<sighs> Another big deep breath in. <sighs> and just sit for a moment and be with yourself. Tune into your body. See what it feels like. Maybe your heart rate lowered a little bit. Maybe your blood pressure went down. Maybe you don't feel as much stress as you did before. And you're right here in the present moment, right here with me right now in the present moment. Beautiful. Let's start here. Let's start here by being in the present moment for the rest of the day or the rest of the night. And just be in the present moment with whatever you're doing. And be present to what unfolds. The awareness that you have about where you're going with your thinking. Is your thinking taking you back to the past? To your problems, to the things that have already passed? Is your thinking taking you to the future and you're worried and you're anxious? Come back to the present moment. Because I'm going to ask you this. What problem do you have right now listening to me in this present moment? What's the problem? What's the issue? What's the concern? If you're in the present moment with me, you won't have one. Right? You're just here in the now. No place to go, no place to be, nothing to worry about. So I'm going to close by inviting you to take a look at your attitude, because that's how I started this video, right? It's like, what do you want to do with your one and only wild and precious life? And if you have an attitude of limitless possibilities, if you do the work, even though no matter how deep and dark your moment is now, if you feel like being in it and leaning into it and feeling it, beautiful, because that's important too. But if you're tired of being in that place, I invite you, on the dime, change your attitude. Find the highest thought that you can have, the highest vibrational thought that you can pull into your field right now. And one of the things you can say is, I am happy and smile. And it's amazing how the body will respond. It's like, ah, I feel kind of juicy. I feel kind of happy now. And sometimes it can be really hard and you're going, oh yeah, screw it, I'm not happy. And I'm gonna smile anyway and pretend. Whatever it is that you have to do to overcome yourself in this moment, when you're not happy with it, when you're being dragged down by everything around you, let go of everything around you. Consider changing the top five people that you hang around with that are in your circle. If they're not lifting you up, helping you get up, lending a hand to get out of that dark place, inspiring you, encouraging you, giving you something to smile about, then change that circle. But you can change your attitude and you can decide that you're happy in any given moment. You can decide that you're happy now. And I know maybe to some of you that sounds like a Pollyanna, but I've been there. I've lived that. I've had countless incredible unhappy sucky moments where I realized I was in an unhappy sucky moment that I didn't like. And it's like, Okay, Shelly, how long do you want to be here? 30 seconds, three minutes? All right, I'll give you five minutes max because I've already sat with this. I don't need to anymore. Five minutes to just be in your pity party. Set the timer on my phone. And in five minutes, I'm going to decide that I'm getting out of that. I'll put on music and I'll dance. I'll go out for a walk in nature. I'll just decide that I'm going to be happy and create a new affirmation or open a book. Um, Open a book uh, or go find yourself an affirmation on Google. There's a million thousand ones. I've got a whole list of affirmations on my blog and on my podcast. And here's three right now. I am happy. I am loved and I am worthy. I am happy. I am loved and I am worthy. And you just say that. And then you go dance. You, you twirl circles. You put music on whatever will bring up your vibration. And then you go from there. Because in that one moment where you change your attitude, you will change your life. And when you decide and accept that you're going to change yourself, that's the moment that you will change your life. And until that happens, you will not change anything. You've got to decide, I'm going to change me 
And that's going to change my life. And my friend, I guarantee it, for a million bucks, when you go there, you will begin on the journey of changing your life. This is Shelly Marika with Inspired Living. If you have liked this video, I want to ask you to share it. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button, share it. If you like this podcast, hit the subscribe button and share it and find a buddy partner to do some of the things that I've given you here. I've given you some really great tools right now to change your life. Whether you're an empty nester, whether you're over 50, whether your career sucks, whether you're retired and you're sitting on the couch and you don't have any friends, you don't know what to do with your life. That's your choice. If you want to change your choice and you want to change your life, you've got to get up and change it, my friends. All right. That's what I got for you now. This is Shelly Marinka giving you lots of love.